guys! Today is like a Thursday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon and I have a million and ten other things that I should be filming. Um, sorry, I was just fixing my light currently and I can't do any of it. This was definitely something that has been on my mind for a while and that I wanted to film, but I, for whatever reason, cannot just buckle down and get the rest of what I need to get done done. So I'm filming this, I'm getting it out there, and I'm hoping that by the end I will feel better because I feel so much better when I'm telling you guys absolutely everything. And there are some things, of course, that I keep to myself, um, you know, like some personal details about my life that I don't necessarily share. But I do feel like my channel has gone through a pretty large shift over the last year. And I want to talk about that. And I want to talk about my current relationship with my body and um, where it's been over the course of the past year. And just some things, you know, that I want to say, that I want to get out there. So, <laughs> I'm wearing this bathing suit because it's in the thumbnail and I don't want anyone saying it was clickbait. This is kind of, honestly, where my channel started off. I spent about a year making makeup videos and then after that year, I did my first, like, Forever 21 haul where I um, showed a plus size bikini and this was in a time frame where there was not an abundance of styles and you didn't get a lot of variety in plus size bikinis. Um, on Tumblr and stuff like that, I remember it was called like fat bikini when a plus size girl wore a bikini and it was such a different thing, um, especially for me personally. I had never worn a bikini as a plus size girl. So I did that and then that was really when I started getting a really big following and I realized more and more as I meet my subscribers, it's such a half and half mix of people who found me back then and people who find me through story times and stuff now and I want to make sure I'm talking to both audiences as one because we are one huge family and I love you all so so much and I never want you to think that I'm, I don't know, giving up on something that literally built my channel from the ground up and I never want anyone to think that it's not something I don't want to talk about and I don't want to have a continued conversation about. But in the last year, um, in the last few months in particular, I think that my own personal relationship with body positivity and body confidence has kind of hit a rough point. And I think that everyone has points like this, no matter if you are someone who loves your body so, so, so much, you still have insecure days, you still have things that you're not like 110% about. And for me personally, um, this past year, on and off, I just don't feel like I've been that good to myself. And I want to talk a little bit about that and... Um, you know, what I'm doing to change it because I still stand by everything I've ever said. You have one body your entire life. You are the only person that you're stuck with for your entire life. You are the only thing that you are granted in life and your life could end tomorrow and you would still only have yourself. You know what I mean? And so I've been a really firm believer that you have to make yourself happy and you have to love yourself most before you can give love to anybody else. Um, and I think that, you know, while that definitely starts with loving the person that you are, loving the skin that you're in and loving the way that you look is something that everyone deserves and everyone can attain. But I have had spells on and off this past year where I have not been the most positive human being. Um, I have new stretch marks that I did not have, you know, a while ago and as someone who was very 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 heavy and then lost like 80 pounds and then lost even more weight with my eating disorder and as I've been kind of yo-yoing back and forth over the last couple of years of gaining weight, losing weight, gaining weight, losing weight, never really stepping on the scale because it was something where you know as long as I felt healthy and I felt good and I liked the way that I looked I never felt like it was necessary. Um, seeing new stretch marks that I did not have before, and I haven't really gotten stretch marks in a really long time, it was, it kind of hit me hard. And I know that that sounds so silly because I'm someone who has so avidly preached self-love and loving the skin that you're in. No matter your size or your weight or 
anything like that, that you're always allowed to love yourself and you have, you know, the capability of doing that if you can let yourself love yourself. Um, and I will be 100% honest, I haven't been really good to myself lately. And in the last couple of months in particular, I mentioned in my last update video that there was something I've been going through that I was not ready to talk about. I still don't know how ready I am to talk about it because it's still something that I'm struggling with and I make it really emotional. Um, for the first time in a while, I, I really don't know a time frame. Um, I, during the month of December in particular, relapsed and uh, started going through a really bad battle with my eating disorder again. And I don't want to give specifics, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to give details, I don't want to trigger anybody ever, I never want anyone to feel like my video is not a place where they can, you know, come and feel safe and secure. Um, but yeah, that is a thing that happened. And so if you follow me on Twitter, I was posting a lot of really cryptic stuff and um, a lot of really unhappy things and I was I was going through it and uh, that's a huge part of what was happening and um, like I said I don't know how ready I am to go into detail it makes me want to cry it makes me feel sick to my stomach I'm ashamed I'm embarrassed and I hate that I feel those things because at the end of the day I'm getting back to a better place now and um, it really is only within like the last week that I even feel comfortable saying anything because it's really only within the last week or so that I feel like I'm getting back to a normal state um, and I'm not struggling with things as badly and I hate that I feel ashamed I hate that I'm embarrassed um, because at the end of the day I still overcame it and I'm still overcoming it because I didn't drop you know like 30 pounds or because I you know whatever like because I didn't drop a ton of weight because I didn't struggle with it for a long period of time again and I'm still struggling please don't make it don't think that this was like a month thing I'm not smiling because it's funny I'm smiling because I'm uncomfortable I do this a lot where I smile because I feel very awkward and it's the only thing I know to do and I know that it's weird and uncomfortable for some people trust me it's uncomfortable for me but um never think that when I smile or anything like that I'm ever just like laughing at the situation I know that some people take it as that or that I'm taking it lightly it's not that at all um it's something completely different but it's not something where I just struggled for 30 days and suddenly magically one day I woke up and I was fine you can't just snap out of things like this and even though I really am making a conscious effort to try to treat myself better and I'm you know talking to someone currently about the thoughts and stuff that I've been having about the self-destructive behavior I've been inflicting um, it doesn't mean that it's all better. I almost feel like it's harder trying so hard to stop doing something that I'm doing to myself. Again, I don't think that I can say too terribly much. I want to be more open about it. I want to be as honest as I can be, but at this moment in time, it's all very real and very raw and I'm still going through it and still struggling. Um, and so I will talk about this more, I think, maybe in a couple of months or something like that um, when I when I feel like I can. So that kind of leaves the question, where was I this past year? I still made a swimsuit lookbook this year. I still talked about body positivity this year. Um, and I want to talk about where things exactly changed. And I've kind of held this information to myself and I still, unfortunately, cannot give all details just because I don't want to get my boo hiney suit. I don't know how much I legally can say, but... I do believe that anyone could figure out what I'm talking about. There was a shoot that I did um, a while ago, sometime within the last year. There was also an interview involved um, in this situation. I do really want to quickly say that this has nothing to do with Torrid. I feel like that was the biggest campaign I was part of last year and I would never want anyone, anyone, anyone to think that this had anything to do with Torrid. I love them so dearly and I love everything that they do and everything that they stand for so much. So I just want to quickly throw that out there. But um, it was something that I did and there was an interview involved. And in this interview, the people conducting it repeatedly over and over and over would ask questions trying to get me to basically bash um, 
thinner body types. And the questions would be along the lines of, so what's wrong with the body types currently portrayed in the media? You know, what's wrong with them? Blah, 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 blah. And it was not like questions along the lines of, okay, so how can we be more inclusive? You know, what body types would you like to see represented? What body types need more representation? Blah, blah, blah. What, you know, what is a gray area? This and that. It was literally over and over and over again, and they would rephrase it every time I would say, like, I'm not answering that. Basically, my manager and I have this uh, code down where in a situation like that, I will look at her and she will automatically just know that I don't want to answer the question um, or that, you know, it's not something I'm comfortable with. And so over and over and over, we kept turning this question down and they would just rephrase it differently. And it really bothered me that the way that this mainstream corporation company, whatever, that claimed to be so, you know, on board with the body positivity train completely did not understand what I stood for at all. They really, really and truly thought that because I wanted to see plus size bodies in the media and plus size bodies represented that it meant that I hated skinny bodies or that I believed that there was something that there was something wrong with that um, or that I believe that there's something wrong with bodies that are portrayed and that's not how I feel. I love every single body type. I think that every single body is beautiful and that is what body positivity is. It's positivity in your body. It's positivity about other bodies. It's not bashing yourself. It's not bashing others or seeming like one is better than the other. You know what I mean? And so it just really rubbed me the wrong way. And I don't know, I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but then it was published and I don't know. Everything about it just made me feel icky. From then on, I was really uncomfortable in the interview. I didn't feel like myself. I didn't, you know, I didn't, oh, there's a piece of fuzz in my hair. Um, I didn't know how to answer their questions because I knew the place that it was coming from now. You know what I mean? Um, and maybe they were looking for something really sensational and they wanted it to be like, plus size girl bashes skinny bodies or something like that. You have to be super careful <laughs> with crap like that. But um, yeah, it really, really, really bugged me. Just made me feel uncomfortable and I kind of had to like sit back and think to myself, is this what I'm portraying? Is this what people are seeing me as? And I don't believe that that's the case. I really don't because I've always been so pro every single body type and so pro self-love in whatever shape or size that you're in um, that I don't think, I just think that they completely missed the point. Um, so that's kind of been this past year. It's just that I think that I kind of went through a weird patch in 2016 in general. Swimwear season is right around the corner. Um, I'm gonna go back to making swimsuit themed videos because they are so empowering for me. I know they're so empowering for so many of you guys. And at the end of the day, I just want to help everyone feel good in themselves. I, I never want anyone to feel inadequate, especially during a specific time of year where we're, you know, blasted with ideas of working on our swimsuit body and not working towards health or anything like that. Working towards being allowed to put a specific uh, garment on our body. And so that was kind of what I wanted to touch on. I just wanted to talk about it before, you know, I went back into the swing of things. That is why I have been sort of silent on the topic of body positivity for the last, I feel like, half year. And um, it's something I want to talk about a lot more and I want to open the conversation back up and I, I want to feel like it's an open conversation always and I do apologize if it hasn't been this past year but simultaneously I am human and I go through things and we all go through things um and I love you guys so 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 freaking much I hope you found this helpful I know it was just kind of like a vloggy chatty whatever um but I love you guys and I will see you in my next video